One of my most popular videos on the channel is the 10 best free plugins for Final Cut Pro. But the free plugin that I'm going to show you in this video blows all of those other plugins out of the water. Have a look at what it can do. This incredible free plugin is called BCC Looks and it's from Boris FX, who just so happens to be the sponsor of today's video. When you install BCC Looks, you'll find it under the BCC Film Style category. I'll drag and drop that onto my clip and then I'll jump into the effects editor. There are a ton of different presets that you can choose from that can be instantly applied to your footage. You can also customize each one of these presets by adjusting the colors, the exposure, contrast, you can add diffusion, you can even adjust color gradients, gels, and add film grain. You can also see a before and after comparison by clicking on this button right here, or you can click on this button to have a before and after slider, which is pretty cool. If this is all that this plugin could do, it would still be an incredible plugin, especially considering that it's totally free. But what I'm about to show you is why I think BCC Looks is the best of the best when it comes to free plugins. BCC Looks gives us Mocha Tracking in Final Cut Pro for free. Mocha Tracking is the world's leading tracking software, and this is where the real incredible power of this plugin comes in. I have a new BCC Looks plugin applied to this clip, and I'll go ahead and open up the Mocha Mask, which will open up the Mocha Continuum window. I'm just going to double click here just to make this full screen, and I'm gonna hit the Z key to zoom into the car. So I'll just hit Z and click and drag. There are a bunch of different ways to create a mask in Mocha. I'm going to go with a magnetic mask. I'll just zoom in here to this car and I'm going to click and Mocha Continuum will automatically figure out where these points should go and where the Bezier should be just by me clicking on the outline here. So I'll go ahead and select the rest of the body of the car. Once I've made my selection, I can go ahead and refine these points using these blue lines to create a curve and I can just go ahead and make sure that this mask is as accurate as it can be. I'll zoom back out and then you'll see that I have a green arrow here which represents the first keyframe where I drew this mask. So that's right at the beginning of the clip. I'm going to go ahead and track forwards. It looks like it's done a pretty good job tracking this mask. It has shifted a little bit, so what I'll do is I'll just tweak the end point here of this mask, which you'll see will create a new green keyframe here. And Mocha Continuum will interpolate the frames between the first frame and this last frame, and it'll adjust the mask accordingly. So I'll zoom back out, and then I'm going to save this project, and I'm going to close Mocha Continuum. Now, if I go into my effects editor and I add one of these presets, let's go with a bleach warm diffusion. I'll hit apply and you can see that the effect has only been applied to this mask, only to the car. But I can go into my pixel chooser settings, click on the mask and I can invert that mask, which essentially applies the effect to everything but the car. Now I can view the mask, which will show the black areas as everything that's not affected and the white area where everything is affected. And I can drop the intensity of that so that this car is more like a gray color. What that means is that some of this effect will filter over to the car, but not totally. So I'll turn that mask off and there you can see the difference. Some of the effect has been applied to the car to help it blend in a bit better, but the car still stands out because the effect has only been applied to everything but the car. I'll set the intensity back to 100. I'll go back to the effects editor and I'll click on the default. The amazing thing is you can take the mask tracking a step further and create really complex masks. If you've ever tried to change the color of something in Final Cut Pro, you'll know that you can add a hue saturation curves adjustment, use the color picker to select the range of colors you want to affect, and then you can adjust that color. But what if the color you want to change is white? I'll reset this and I'll try to select the white of this car. It's almost impossible to adjust a white subject, but it is possible when using BCC looks. So we'll go over into BCC looks and I'll show you how it's done. So I'm going to go into my color correct settings here since we already have the mask tracked and I'm going to drop all of the blue and all of the green from the scene. Okay, we've got to go back to pixel chooser and just uninvert that mask. And now you'll see we have a red car. The problem is though, 
is that we've selected the windows and the lights and everything else. So there are parts of this car that are red that should not be. So let's go ahead into the Mocha mask and then we're going to add some more complex masks to this track. We've got our car track here. I'll double click on that and call it car. And then I'm going to zoom in to the windows and I'll create a new magnetic mask. Now that I have that mask created there, I'm going to go ahead and rename that to windows and I'm going to link this mask to the car track. So basically it knows that this mask is linked to this car track and I'll go ahead and then track that window mask. Now that that track is done, I'll go into the layer properties and I'll change the blend mode from add to subtract. Basically, that'll just subtract this little mask from within this bigger mask. I'll go back to the beginning of my clip and I'll repeat the process for this back window and these two lights. And now with those masks tracked, you can see that I have a really nice track going on the car, the windows and on the rear lights. Like I did with the windows here, if you look at the layer properties, you'll see that the blend mode for all of these masks is set to subtract, which is perfect. So I'll save that and then I'll close Mocha. Now this red only affects the car. What I would go and do is just add a small feather to this pixel chooser area, maybe like one or two pixels, just a light feather, something like that. And I'll go ahead and adjust this red. So I'll drop some of the red. Maybe I'll drop the saturation a little bit, brighten it up and I'll create a bit more contrast here. Something like that. And here is the final shot. And there is one more way to use this incredible free plugin. You can create and track a mask around a person, for example, which will allow you to totally remove that subject and place them in a new background. Once you have your mask tracked like I do here, save it and go back to Final Cut Pro. Duplicate the clip by holding down Alt and clicking and dragging to create a clip on top. On the top clip, go into the Pixel Chooser section and turn on this View Mask Matte option, which will essentially just show your mask in black and white. Change the blend mode on the top clip to Silhouette Luma and then select both clips and hit Alt G to create a compound clip. Now just drop your new background clip underneath that compound clip. You might want to add a Gaussian blur effect to the background to create a little bit of depth. And there you go. That's how easy you can replace the background using BCC Looks. BCC Looks is a free plugin that is part of the paid Boris FX Continuum package, which includes a ton of other amazing effects. These effects all include mocha tracking and they are super powerful. Some of these effects include glitches, lens flares, light leaks, film stocks and so much more. Each of these different effects has a ton of presets and options to choose from in the effects editor section of each plugin. Included in the Continuum package are also some great transitions. If you want to get your hands on the full Continuum package from Boris FX, then use the code BND15 to get 15% off. I'll add a link to that down below, but also I'll add a link to BCC Looks if you just want to grab the free plugin. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.